Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Thursday. Yes, we are back from our trip to Minnesota, moving Caleb and Taylor into their new home, and my body is feeling it. Uh, a lot of activity that I'm not, not used to. Um, so some muscles that are sore and some a uh, little slow getting up from the chair. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not as young as I used to be. But uh, we got them all moved in, and they're busy unpacking boxes, and will be for uh, some time, I, uh, I'm supposing. So yeah, uh, check in time. How are you? Oh, weather. Weather not that great out there. A little chilly, about 47 here at the house. Wind is blowing. Um, yeah, not, not a great day out there, but oh uh, well, hopefully the weekend will be better. And uh, yeah, so check in time. How are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are safe and healthy and well. Um, uh, yeah, leave a comment or a question below. Got to get back into the groove here. Uh, leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I do have my coffee here. Pastor John's Blessed Beans. So, cheers, church. <sighs> yes. So our devotion today comes from Christ in Our Home written by Pastor Susie Gamelin, who's retired and part of Abiding Hope Lutheran Church in Littleton, Colorado. And the scripture reading for today is Romans 8, 1 to 8. So Romans 8, 1 to 8. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. For, the, for God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, by sending his own Son in, in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, so that the, just requirement, so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set, in their, minds on, set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. For those, and those who are in the flesh, cannot please God. Okay. Well, there we go. Here's the uh, devotional titled Condemnation, question mark. And the theme verse is verse four. We walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Now, verse one, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. What? We're not condemned? That's not what I was taught growing up when the fourth century concept of original sin was emphasized in my faith tradition. What does those who are in Christ Jesus mean? Only people who meet certain criteria? No, it means everyone. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, John 3.16. And the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death, which is verse 2 of our reading today. These first, readings, first verses of our reading could inspire us for the rest of our lives, but there's more. Because of Christ, we are now called and reminded to walk according to the Spirit. Life and peace are our guides. We strive to love our neighbors as ourselves without exception. We set aside social structures that condemn some and empower others. We follow Jesus way of the cross, of self-giving. For the Spirit is our reality. Amen. The, uh, when, when Back in the second paragraph when it says, uh, what does those who are in Christ Jesus mean? Only people who meet certain criteria? No, it means everyone, and everyone is in italics. And that kind of remind me of the, the book, a book that I, I've read numerous times called Lamb, the Gospel According to Biff. Christ's childhood friend or childhood pal, whatever the subtitle is. But there, you know, Jesus is teaching the, the disciples in this book, this fictional book, of course, uh, teaching the disciples about God's love, how he, his kingdom is for everyone. And the disciples nod, and yes, every one of the Jewish people is in the kingdom. 
And Jesus is saying, no, no, no. Everyone, read my lips, everyone, even the Romans, and they just couldn't wrap their mind. The disciples in the book just couldn't wrap their minds around that. And that's how we are sometimes, right? We, 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 we want to exclude. God's love is for everyone except that guy over there. He's, uh, he's not worthy of God's love. Or that, that woman over there. Ugh, ugh. Um, so we like to point the fingers and say, we can say with our words, God loves everyone. But then we, we, in our minds, we say, eh, I'm not so sure about them. And then sometimes we point the fingers at ourselves, right? I'm not so sure about me. How can God love me when I did this or said that or whatever? But the promise is, as Pastor, Juicy, Pastor Susie says, uh, God loves everyone. And we are not condemned the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so then we go out and we strive to love our neighbors and we, uh, we help others, we serve others, we follow Jesus. Yeah, so there we go. Be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks when it is appropriate. Uh, keep, still keep distance from others. And we're coming to, hopefully, the nearing of the end of this pandemic. Um, but we're getting there. And uh, we must remain patient and, patient and calm. And we'll get there together. So, uh, yeah, these are all ways that we share the light of Christ and show love to our neighbors. Let's pray. Almighty God, help us set and reset our minds on the things of the Spirit. Through Christ Jesus. Amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for a fun t-shirt Friday. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.